Hi everybody, yeah, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. For those you don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yeah, today we are going to do a DIY. I have not done a DIY in quite a long time. I thought it was about time that I got my creative juices flowing and do one. So here we are doing a DIY. Now what you're going to need for this particular DIY is you're going to need a vase, any vase you want. I bought this vase at the dollar store. You're going to need some Elmer's glue. I have glue that I picked up at the dollar store. They have it two for a dollar. So I picked up some glue. I wasn't sure how much glue I was going to need. So I picked up four of them. It was only two bucks. So why not? You're going to need some food coloring in the color you so desire. I got this neon one because they have purple. So I'm going to get the purple out because I want my vase to be purple. And of course, you're going to need a paintbrush. And um, did I already tell you that I got some paper plates out? Well, if I didn't, I got some paper plates out. I got one to do the, to put the vase on. And then I got one also to put the Elmer's glue in and the food dye. And I got myself a little plastic knife so I could stir it up. So we're just going to jump right in and go ahead and get started on this DIY. You can see my cat in the background. Yeah, there's the jelly bean. I had the door open. My daughter's due home soon. So I turned the alarm off. I had the alarm set to go off at 3 o'clock to remind me when my daughter is about to get here. And so I turned the alarm off so I won't turn the camera off. <laughs> so when she gets here, I'll have to step away and get it. But I will edit that out. So let's. I'm going to pan you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. We got the vase. We got the knife. I want to make sure there's no dirt on the plate. And move over a little bit. So I'm just going to open up this glue. It's got like a little stopper in there. I'm going to try to get it out. Try in. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of glue on my shirt. Oh, whales. That'd be fine. So I got the glues open. And we're just going to dump a gollop. A gollop. A glollop. Going to dump a bunch. <laughs> onto this plate. We're going to try to carefully open this food dye without wearing any of it and I'm just going to add a couple drops and stir it up so we can see what color that is and see if we're going to need to add some more to it. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more glue, glue to it. And I think that is a very pretty color. I'll put this down underneath the table. Just making sure it's stirred up well.
before we go and give it another coat and this is what we have so far yeah it's not even it's nowhere near being completed as you can see it has a long way to go but we are going to allow this to dry and we will come back to it and add some more layers to it and the good thing about all this is is I can just throw away this plate that has all this on it. And I'm going to clean out this brush. And I'll put the top back on the purple. And I'll put it right over here. Because I'll probably be using it again. And I'll put the top on the glue. And I will be back once this is dry. And we will put another coat on it. And we'll see how it's looking after one layer of the Elmer's glue and food dye. So I'll be back, bye. Hi everybody, yeah, we are back. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you, it's not completely dry yet because I had to do it over again because I accidentally touched it while it was wet, scratched it. So I had to like peel all the glue off it and repaint it. But as you can see, it's, it's still, I had to repaint it again today, but you see it's still a little wet down at the bottom. It has like, you know, like this stuff on it. I mean, I guess it adds character to it. It's not terrible. It's not like the worst thing. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. You can see. But we're not done with it yet. No, we're going to add some more stuff to it. I'm going to add me some glitter to it and see if we can make it even worse than what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what because that's what I do. Yeah, and what I plan on doing is I plan on adding some glitter right here at the top of it. Yeah, like I like I always say, and like you guys always you guys know, nothing is perfect in my house. Now I got myself some tacky glue. I got myself a paintbrush. As you know, I got myself some glitter. And I'm just gonna just put some glitter around the top and maybe go down about, you know, a quarter of the way to add some, to make it pretty. Yeah, why not? So, you know, it's gonna bring you on down so you can watch what I'm doing. I don't know, maybe I'll decide to do the entire thing in glitter. I don't know. You look kind of crooked. Let me see if I can position you better. That's better. Okay. So I'm going to put the tacky glue over here. So I'll be using this plate for the glitter. Because once I, you know, use all the glitter in the thing, then I'll be dumping it back into it. So we're going to open up. Yeah, I'm just going to open it up like this. And just dump some on a plate. Come on out of there. Tacky glue. It's a coming. Slowly but surely, it's a coming. There we go. And I'm just going to open up the glitter up and try not to knock it over as I'm doing. Actually, I think I will leave the top on the glitter because you know my luck at things. I end up knocking things over and making a mess. Yes, I do. So. We got our thing. I'm going to lift you up a little bit. There, now that you have it completely in the camera. And I get some tacky glue. And I'm just going to just put some tacky glue on it. 
I'm going to try to make it into a straight line. As best I can. Good thing about tacky glue, it doesn't dry immediately. <laughs> Gotta be careful of the vase because, like I said, it's not 100% dry yet, but it is mostly dry. Don't want to get my hand stuck in it, that would be bad. Yeah, I think I'll do this little bit here and go ahead and start adding some glitter to it before it does start drying. <laughs> okay, let's, if I can get my hand out, <laughs> let's add some glitter to the parts that I finished. Shall we? So I'm just gonna just pour it on there. Try to get it on the plate. <laughs> Try to wipe the glitter off the part that doesn't have the glue on it yet. And it's sticking to the glass a little bit. That is fine. I'm just taking a little peek to see how good I'm doing at the... Yeah, it's not perfect, but as I have said, nothing ever is in this house. Okay, let's continue on with the glue. Kind of try to pick up where I left off. Yeah, I might have to go over the bottom again just to um, get them all evened out. You'll definitely be able to tell this is homemade. <laughs> yes, you will. It is homemade by Tina. I think it'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful when I'm done with it. And it won't be perfect, and that's okay. I think I need a little bit more glue on my brush. Yeah, I noticed in my videos, I'm like, look at my chops a lot. You can hear, it sounds like I'm eating something. It's just me looking at my lips because my mouth gets so dry. And that's, that's what you're hearing is that weird noise in the background. And I was like, Tina, stop that. You sound stupid. Like, oh, well. Yeah, I just noticed I was doing it again. Try to get it all about the same deepness, I guess you'd say, towards the bottom here. Because it's not quite all the same all the way around. 
Now I wanted to put um, ribbon on it, but it's hard putting ribbon on a round thing, as you probably know. Because it doesn't go exactly around it. It kind of like goes different direction. <laughs> It's got like a mind of its own. Yeah, see, I didn't quite get it down far enough on this side. So I'm just going to have to add a little glue on the bottom. Just have to go over the, the glitter. Add a little bit more. Yeah, it'll be a little cake down in that area, but oh well. Try to be all the same. I need some going right down the middle here. Might need to take out some more. of the taffy glue. Well, it's not going to be perfect. Oh, to the whale. Let's add some more glitter to it before it dries. Oops. I fixed that. I accidentally hit it with my nail. There we go. And just add some glitter. Yeah, let it fall on the plate. Got some on the table. Oh well. I do have Mod Podge now. So I can go over this glitter. I just use the last of it. But I think that's good enough. No. It's not by any means perfect. <laughs> no, it is not. And I am shiny. I am the shiny one. Yes, I is. I'm going to try to fold this carefully. And pour it back into this top cup thing. Oh, too fast. There. And we're going to sprinkle it again. I don't know if any is sticking to it. Probably not. That's okay. Dump her in. Put the top back on that. Yes, I have the beautiful hands now. This stuff likes to stick to skin. And that is a very pretty plate. Look at the sparkles. Look at the sparkles on that plate. This glitter I got thrown away because it was on my table. I'm going to be cleaning up glitter for a month. Now my pants are all glittery too. I look beautiful. 
I look all glittered and pretty. Yes, I do. And it's on the glass. And that's fine if it's on the glass. I don't care. If it sticks to the glass, it'll be, I think it makes it even prettier. Oops, smear some of the glue. Oh, well. There. You know, what I had planned on doing after I itched my nose is I had planned on taking some of this, um, this pink ribbon. So let's see what how that looks, shall we? I'm just gonna cut a, a length off. And I'll bring it down so we can see exactly what it would look like. And kind of just wrap it around like that. To kind of cover up the uneven edges on the bottom of the glitter. Yeah, I think that will be nice. So we'll have to add some more tacky glue. I'm just going to make the edges triangular. Okay, let's put some glue onto the ribbon. And I'll just dump some more on this plate if I can get it out. Come out, glue. There we go. I think I got way too much, but oh, to the well. And yeah, I'll get some on my table, but it's nothing a Clorox wipe can wipe up. As long as it's not super glue. <laughs> yeah, I made that mistake. I still have some on my table. Super glue that it's, I mean, <laughs> you can't get that up. Oh, well. I'll hold that down with my thinner nail. And just quickly smear this on there. Move my scissors over and move some of this other stuff out of my way. My Clorox wipes are actually on the other end of the table. I haven't done crafts in so long. I used I usually leave I used to leave them right here next to me. So when I did, you know, play with my tacky glue, when I was done with it, I could just, you know, take one out and wipe off the table with it. But I haven't been doing any DIYs. I don't know why either. I do enjoy doing them. Okay. Now we got a sticky ribbon mess. So let's bring the, the thing over. You're not going to see much because it's kind of at an angle. You're not going to be able to see much, but you'll see when I'm done. And I'm just going to carefully glue it on. And as you all know, it's a weird angle because it's round. So we'll just do what we can. I think this would look better, but I need to get it evened out here. 
And I'm making a gluey mess all over this thing. <laughs> trying to grab it. Because I know it's not dry yet. I just got to grab it. There we go. Okay. It's going to go like that. And kind of just go over it. Like so. And I'll have to go back in with the glitter to fill in those spots that don't have the glitter. There we go. Kind of just trying to push it down. As you can see, I made a mess. <laughs> but what we are going to do is we're going to go in with some more of this white glitter and um, just fill that in above the ribbon. Try to be very careful not to get the glue on the ribbon. Kind of just wipe it off a little bit. Yeah. I'll have to go back and try to wash up this uh, glue that I got all over the base. I'll use this one here, this thing down here. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on over here to fill in that area the ribbon's not covering and just kind of shake it off. There. I want to just try something. Yeah, it might look better if I like go over the entire thing and add another layer of glitter. Mainly because it's uh yeah, I'm just gonna like take a pair of scissors and just give that a little nip. Just to help it lay flatter. Yeah, I like that. That looks a little better. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to give the glitter another layer so it's not looking so crappy. <laughs> and then once it's all dry, I'll go over it with Mod... Mod... What's it called? Mod Podge? Try not to get it on the ribbon. And I'm just going to just go up with it like that. And just sprinkle some glitter on it. I'm thinking that looks better. Unfortunately, I don't want to get too close to that ribbon. 
but I'm trying to get as close as I can. And it's close to this other section I did. And then add some more glitter to it. Yep, I almost put it right on top of the ribbon. I'm gonna try to get it as close to that other area I did. But also try not to leave any, you know, lines like that. I'm trying to wipe that off. But also, I got that part done where I was doing that. I don't want to go over that more either. But it's not going to be perfect. But hopefully it'll make it look a little better. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I got a line in there. Oh well. So we're going to take this glitter, get a little carefully bend it, so we can put it back in the cup. Oops, got it on the table. And I was doing so well. Okay, just carefully get around this ribbon. Try not to leave it too chunky. And wipe it off a little bit. It's going to be a little chunky. Oh, well. Oh, well. Guess it will add character. I'm going to have to get some more um, glue on that plate. First, I'll do this glitter before it starts to dry on me. Yeah, we got some cake down glitter. Oh, well. Come out, glitter, or glue, rather. There we go. There we go. 
get it down by the ribbon carefully. Try to get it off the ribbon, cause I don't want it on there. Ooh. I was getting cocky and almost went right on top of that ribbon. almost to the other side so I think I will just continue on till I finish it I think I need to add a little bit of glue underneath there just to get that to sit down a little bit better A jelly bean just went by. You missed it. Jelly bean. What are you doing? Almost done, but almost out of glue, too. Give me a little bit more. There we go. That should be plenty. That should be the plenty. And there, I'm just going to try to get as close as possible to this other side. A little bit towards the top there. There. And we finished that. Now let's glitter the heck out of it. There. Yeah, we got a whole messy bottom part, but hopefully I can wash that off. I'm going to try, because we got glue all over it. Yes, we do, and glitter. Yeah. So I'm going to, we're done with the glitter now. I'm not going to do it again. Get it back in here. There we go. Put the top on that. Put the top on it. And we're going to pull this stuff out. Okay, yeah, no, it's not the most beautiful vase in the world, but I made it, so that make, that counts for something. I am going to try to um, wipe off very gently because, you know, this stuff here, the, um, the coloring I put on it, it can be easily scrubbed off it. So I have to be very careful about, you know, washing off the glue and stuff. 
but I am not quite done with what I want to do with this. So we're going to go to the next part. I'm not going to wait for it to completely dry because I want to, I want to complete this video. And what it is I plan on doing ain't going to hurt it any, even though it's not dry yet. No, it will not hurt it to none. I'm going to add a little gem sticker to it. Yes, that was my belly that growled. I'm drinking my Slim Fast. I think maybe I need a sip. Mm. Sippy, sippy. So I'm just going to take a little heart and put it right between those two ribbons where they join. And that will be the finishing touch. There. That is the finishing touch to my vase. I think it turned out quite darling. It looks like an Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I will try to wash off this glue very gently because I don't want to knock off or scrub off the coloring that I added to it. But I do have my flowers here. I just got to gather them all up together because we need to see the finished product with all the flowers in it. So let me uh, move my little tub here that has all my um, glitters and stuff in it so I can reach my flowers, which are right here on the table. Trying to grab them all without losing any of them. There we go. So I went ahead off camera and I just snipped them all off their, you know, stems. And I forgot to take this tag off one of them. So I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, I am. Trying to anyways. There we go. So we're just going to, you know, put these flowers in there. I think I'll have to, um, for this, yeah, I was, um, I used my, um, my jewelry thingies to cut the stems because obviously, you know, they have metal in them. <laughs> metal in them. Yeah, I got cut off the, there's like a little leaf down here. I had to cut it off because it would not fit inside my vase. No, it would not. And I'm trying to keep some of the leaves. I'm gonna have, I'll have to cut off this leaf. So let's cut that one off. See, I'm just using these because it cuts through the wire very easily. And I'm not using anything special to hold them in there. You know, I'm not using like um, a flower thing to hold it. I'm just tossing them in there willy-nilly. Yeah, these ones have flowers on. I'm just pushing them up towards the top. Not flowers, but leaves. <laughs> so that I have some leaves in it. Yeah, see, this one's like all the way down there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna push it up. As far as I, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can get that back on there. I just knocked it off the thing. Just trying to push the leaf back on. There we go. It should go right, pop right back on there. Yeah, I'll try not to push it as far up as I was. I was trying to push it up here, the leaf, and it popped everything right off it. So let's not do that. Yep, I forgot another one of those things. I'll get to it in a moment. Another one of those things being a tag. I thought I got some all, but obviously I did not. Yeah, these leaves, these have to go. They're too far down. They are too far down to put inside my new vase. So I'm just going to cut it off. And it's looking very pretty so far. Yep, I'll push this flower up as far as it will go. Thinking maybe I should have bought more pink ones. Because I got a lot of purple and not very many pinks. 
And I wanted a combination of colors, but oh well. I do have, you know, quite a few pinks, but I think I have two pink ones right next to each other. I'm going to just move that over a little bit. Okay, finally got to the tag. I got ripped that off, and I see another one and another one I forgot. I am surprised I forgot that. And move the leave up. A whole bunch of purples over here. Throw a pink one in there. That one's up all the way. I do have to say it is looking pretty. Oh, that one just came right off. And I will show you the finished product once I get all the flowers in it. Oh, I'm going to take my scissors to this one. If I can get to it. There we go. Try not to cut my finners open. Because that's what I like to do. I like to cut off my finners. There we go. Oh, I thought I had it, but I did not. But now I do. Okay, we got almost. We got one flower to go. And I'm just going to push that leaf up. And there. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I think it turned out stunning. I love these flowers. Perfect. A perfect um, arrangement for uh, springtime. Even It's not spring yet, but we can dream, can't we? Yes, we can. And, you know, the fact that I got these at the dollar store... It just amazes me because they are so beautiful. But yeah, there's my vase and there's my um, Dollar Tree flowers. And that's the finished arrangement. Yeah. But yeah, so that was my vase. Start to finish on how I made it. And yes, I, I stumbled, you know, with it. I made some mistakes, but... You know, that tends to happen when you make things homemade. And like I've always said, nothing in my house is perfect. But don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here you'll see my little picture, so click on it. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet, because I post new videos almost every day. Until next time, bye!